back at it with another draft video. Today I'm be doing the first round draft grades of every NFL team in the first round. Uh, let's start off with Miles Garrett. Obvious number one pick, by far. Best player in the draft. Uh, Cleveland Browns made a correct decision for the first time in a very long time. But great pick by the Cleveland Browns. Love it. Uh, second pick in the draft, Mitchell Trubisky. Uh, I guess okay pick. The Bears could have taken multiple, or, which I think multiple Hall of Fame players and uh, Marshawn Lattimore, Willie Cooker, Jonathan Allen. But those players dropped because of injury concerns. So I guess they thought they needed a quarterback, even though they signed Mike Lennon for a really large contract. But they decided to pick Mitchell Trubisky. I gave it a C. I think it's deserved, but whatever. Uh, it's an okay pick, I guess. Uh, next pick, San Francisco 49ers. Great pick by them. Uh, Solomon Thomas is a great player. Played very well at Stanford. Would have liked to see a little bit more sack numbers, but he gets a lot of pressures, so it's okay. Um, but for the exact kind of player that Jacks needed to move on to that next tier of, I guess, good teams. I don't think they're going to be great, but I think they're going to be decent next year. It's going to help Blake Bortles out a lot. Um, it's just going to help their overall team. Good pick. Hey, I mean, B-plus for that. Just a B-plus, just because he has the injury concerns and he hasn't been healthy in a while. Like, he hasn't been uh, played a full season. Corey Davis, next pick by the Tennessee Titans. Still think it's a pretty good pick. At first, I was kind of shocked because uh, I didn't think that he was going to get drafted this high. I didn't think he was a top five or top ten talent. I thought he'd go in like the teens, but the Titans saw a need for a receiver, which they do need. They need number one option, but they saw a need for a receiver and gave it a A minus because right after that. All the receivers went in top 10, John Ross and um, Mike Williams, so good pick by them. Jamal Adams, absolute A+. Plus. Jets make a great pick here. Uh, everyone that they might have considered taking might have been off the board. Jonathan Allen, I mean, um, my bad. Uh, Jamal Adams is the clear pick here. Um, I don't think they could have made a better pick, so A+. Plus. Mike Williams next to the Chargers. I was kind of shocked by this pick. I don't know. It just surprised me. I thought that they would have taken Willie Cooker, but I guess they saw entry concerns with him, so I'm still kind of confused about it. They have Tyrell Williams. They have uh, they just have a lot of great receivers. They're not great, but good receivers. And I didn't think that they needed another one, so kind of shocked by that pick, but B minus. Panthers took Christian McCaffrey, A minus. I think that they, I don't think they could have done a better pick than this actually, but maybe a little bit, a little bit higher than I had him scouted as, but still a really good pick. Very great, I mean, very good runner, very good pass catcher out of the backfield, so I don't think they could have made a better pick. Next is John Ross to the Cincinnati Bengals. Blazing speed. He is so damn fast. Like, I have no idea. But 4 2 2 at the combine. Hurt himself on that play. I think the only reason he didn't go higher was because of injury concerns and a small frame. But that man is fast as hell. Next pick Pat Mahomes. I, I loved watching Pat Mahomes play at Texas Tech, and I think he's an overall great player, but he is raw as hell. Like, I have no idea how... He just throws the ball like a baseball, honestly. But if any coach can coach him up, I'd say Andy Reid could. Um, great prospect. Just needs a lot of work. B-. minus. Uh, next pick. Marshawn Lattimore to my New Orleans Saints. 
honestly, I think it's a steal of the draft. But you could also say the steal was Malik Hooker or Jonathan Allen going in the later teams. But I love this pick by the Saints. We needed a corner. When we got a corner. Best corner in the draft, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people had him mocked going to the San Francisco 49ers at number two. Or the Tennessee Titans at number five. But he fell because of hamstring issues. But... I think he's a great player and salt, great pick by the Orleans Saints. Next pick, Deshaun Watson to the Texans after they traded up with the Cleveland Browns. Deshaun Watson is a winner. That's all I have to say about him. He's a he's just a straight winner. He throws a lot of interceptions, um, but honestly, the Texans figured they needed a quarterback. They went all in, traded their first round pick for next year and this year. So they're they're kind of screwed if Deshaun Watson doesn't work out, but hopefully he does. Next pick, Hassan Reddick by the Cardinals. Hassan Reddick is, uh, he plays everywhere on the field. He came in as a cornerback for, he come up as a walk-on at Temple, and then they moved from the D end. Then he played linebacker in the senior bowl. The man played all over the field. Really good player. I like him. I wanted the Saints to take him at 32, but he went way earlier than that. Good pick by the Cardinals. Derek Barnett to the Eagles. A lot of people had him going to the Saints. A lot of people had him going to the Eagles. I just don't see where he fits in with the Eagles. He's a good player. like Really great prospect, but Eagles have Chris Long. They have so many other players, and I don't see how he fits in here. But still a great player, great pick. Malik Hooker to the Indianapolis Colts. Great pick by the Colts. I I love that pick so much. They needed defense. They've addressed defense. They've gotten Jabal Sheard, uh, Jonathan Hankins. They've got John Simon from the offseason. Their defense might actually be decent next year. And to help out Andrew Luck, they need to control the ball. They need to stop other teams so they're not in shootouts every week. So I think it's a great pick. Uh, pick after that, John, uh, Marlon Humphrey. I'm sorry. Uh, Marlon Humphrey is very raw. I'm rewatching him in the Clemson, Alabama uh, National Championship. And he could not guard Michael, uh, Michael Williams that well. He, he got mossed in one play, I remember. He just would not look up at the ball. Like, I could hear everyone yelling, ball, ball, it's in the air. And then he just would not look up. He's just trying to take his hands out of the play, and Mike Williams just hopped up over him. But I think he can be a very good corner in this league. He just needs some refining, and he needs to practice some footwork and ball skills, and he'll be really good. Uh, Jonathan Allen next to the Redskins. Great pick. The uh, Redskins needed defense. They got it. Top five talent in my opinion, but that mild arthritis in his shoulders really worried some teams and he just he couldn't go higher, I guess. People are really worried about that mild arthritis. Uh, next pick, Adoree Jackson. Hated the pick. Adoree Jackson on my board was a late second round pick, mid second round pick to me. He He's just a very unpolished player. He's fast, was recruited high in high school, but uh, I don't see anything. I don't see anything good about him. He could be a decent number two, I guess. I don't see him ever being a very good starting number one corner or a very good starting number two. I think that his role in the NFL is going to be a number a good number three or a solid number two corner. Next in the trades, O.J. Howard to the Buccaneers. This scares me because Jameis Winston with Deshaun Jackson, Mike Evans, Cameron Bright. This is going to be scary next year. He has so many options, so many different players to throw the ball to. He's going to have a great team next year. So very excited. Not very excited. I'm very sad to see that we're going to have to play them next year with our shit defense in the Saints. Um, next pick, Garrett Bowles. Uh, pretty good pick. 
Broncos needed to. My bad, the timer cut out in the video. So, next pick in the draft will be Garrett Bowles. Like I said earlier, good player, good prospect. Uh, fell a little bit because his age, but I think he's a good player. Just worried about him being 25 when the NFL season starts next year, so. I don't know how long he's going to last in the league, but good pick. Next pick, Jared Davis to the Lions. I didn't think he was going to go as high, actually. I I thought Jared Davis would be a mid-second round pick, maybe early second, but I never saw him going top t 25, so he's a good player. I don't know how that Florida defense didn't do any better last year. They had so many uh, good players, Marcus May, Quincy Wilson, T. Staber, um, Cale Brantley, just so many great players on that defense, and they were barely a top 20 team in the NCAA. But good pick. Jared Davis is a very good linebacker, and DeAndre Levy can't stay healthy. Stephen Tolick retired. Uh, good pick. Charles Harris to the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I think this is an insurance policy in case Cameron Lake get hurt and gets hurt. And they they just needed a player to help off the edge. Uh, they needed a, I think he's gonna be like a rotational player behind Cameron Ray, uh, Cameron Wake and Alec Hallen Branch. I'm sorry. And I think that he will do pretty well. Um, all right, my bad. I had to upload the second part of the uh, draft recap. So we left off at Evan Ingram to the Giants. I think that Evan Ingram is a good pick for the Giants. He is um he's a tight end they've been looking for. They've had Will Ty, they've had so many just mediocre tight ends that they've gotten from free agency or, or undrafted or late round picks that they thought they could turn into a good player. But they finally draft a good pass catcher for their tight end spot. I think it's going to be something like Jordan Reed, and hopefully it could help the Giants' offense out and keep Eli with targets and just good pick. So next pick was let me look, Gary Ann Conley. Uh, people had him falling to the third, second round because of the rape allocations that he got was it a day before the draft. I think that it was a good pick. They probably had to do a lot of research on these uh, allocations that he was uh, raping someone, but it's an overall good pick. Just worried about him and legal issues and just if he did commit the crime, he it's a big conviction and it'd be a waste of a pick. Next pick in the draft, Jabril Peppers. The Browns are going for a, just a new look defense of like star players in college. Jabril Peppers, Miles Garrett. Uh, they, they're they actually making some good decisions this draft. I'm not going to lie. It's not a Cleveland Brown draft this year. It's actually pretty good for them. So B minus just because he doesn't have a position and I don't know if the Browns coaching staff can put him in the position to succeed. But great athlete and great overall player. Next pick, Tack McKinley to the Falcons. I'm going to be worried as a Saints fan with Drew Brees staying upright next season because the Falcons have some great pass rushers. They signed on Terry Poe. They just got Tack McKinley. It's just wow, they're going to be coming after Breeze next year, and I'm going to be worried. But good pick. I wish that the Saints would have took Tack McKinley, but he, the Falcons traded up and got him, so oh well. Jadavius White to the Buffalo Bills. I just don't understand why the Bills traded back from number 10. They could have had Marshawn Lattimore, which is the by far best corner in the draft in my opinion. And they decided to settle for uh, Tredavious White, who's just a nickel corner for me. Like, in my opinion, he's a nickel and slot cornerback that just, mm, I just don't like Garrett. I'm sorry, not Garrett Connolly. Uh, Tredavious White. 
he'd be a great nickel corner, but they need him to play on the outside, so I don't understand the pick. Next pick in the draft, Taco Charlton to the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys definitely need an edge rusher. Randy Gregory is uh, filled with problems. He barely is on the field. Cowboys just needed someone that could produce a pass rush for them. Their defense lost a lot of key players last year, I mean last offseason, and they need some defensive help. So uh, Taco Charlton is the best player on the board for them. Uh, next pick, David Njoku. Another great pick by the Browns. Honestly, second tight end, uh, second best tight end, in my opinion. Fast, athletic, great after the catch. Um, just overall great tight end. Uh, I don't think I could have made a better pick if they were looking for a tight end. Uh, next pick, TJ Watt to the Pittsburgh Steelers. TJ is going to help generate a good pass rush. I think they drafted him just in case, like, um, uh, shit, what's his name? James Harrison retires just in case they needed a insurance policy in case. But I think him and James Harrison are going to split snaps next year, and then he's just going to take over after that year. But good pick by them. Uh, really liked it. Great, great overall player. Reuben Foster next to the 49ers. This pick pissed me off. Because I was so excited that the Saints were going to get Reuben Foster. I was like, oh my god. I wanted them to take him the whole draft. And they finally got him. And then I just saw that the 49ers traded up to get him. I was just like so sad after that pick. I was... I cannot describe how mad I was. I was throwing shit and everything. But oh well. Things happen. But Reuben Foster is going to be a great player. As long as he gets over these issues that he has... Um, getting thrown out of the draft, uh, the diluted sample that he had, but if these things clear up, he's going to be a great linebacker for them for years to come, and uh, teams are going to wish they would have drafted him. Uh, last pick of the draft, my New Orleans Saints drafted Ryan Ramchuk. I don't know why we would do this. We already have Zach Streve, we already have Teron Armstead. We have Andres Pete, who was supposed to move in and move out to a tackle once Zach Streif was getting older. But we decided to... I think we probably are just like going to give up on Andres Pete because he hasn't showed much progression at all. We moved him inside to guard because he just isn't playing well. And I think we drafted Ryan Ramchick just to replace Zach Streif when he isn't producing anymore, so... I just don't understand the pick. I'm honestly mad at it. Really, really pissed we take him. The only thing that I can say about this pick was that there was no better player to take. We could have taken Carl Lawson from Auburn or Tim Williams from Alabama, but besides them, there isn't a value at this pick, so I could understand it. And Ryan Ramchick was falling down boards, so... The Saints saw an opportunity to replace a weakness on the team. And not a weakness, but uh, they saw an opportunity to replace someone on the team, so they took it. Uh, that concludes the first round recaps of the 2017 draft. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you, and turkey.